Hi guys, I am so excited to share this easy outer space wall I just finished in my boy's bedroom. I started by painting this wall with a Magnolia Homes by Kills paint color called Signature. Now I always use eggshell sheen, so that is eggshell sheen on this wall. I let that paint cure on the wall for a few days before I started applying the vinyl. I found these extra large planets and sun on Etsy. So generally whenever you see these planets and sun vinyl sold on Amazon, they're a smaller size, but this wall is 10 feet by 16 feet, so I needed to go for a larger scale. Luckily, there are some sellers on Etsy that sell these extra large ones. I'll put a link to the ones that I used in the description below. Before I started sticking the vinyl onto the wall, I used painter's tape to hang them up and make sure that I like the placement and the spacing. Vinyl stickers aren't permanent. You can remove these when you're done with them later but you can easily rip them when you're removing them. So you wanna make sure you've got the placement right before you start sticking them onto the wall. And just in case you're wondering about that piece of wood that is behind the sun, I cut a round piece of plywood that I used to hide a window that's behind there. So I didn't want the window to interfere with the whole design of the wall. The window wakes up the boys in the summer anyway, so it was an easy way to hide that window. And one more tip, if you're gonna use these vinyl planets on your wall, Maybe check with your kids to make sure that you have know the difference between the moon and Pluto. So apparently I had them in the wrong place. My eight-year-old walked in and noticed right away that I had put the Pluto as the moon for Earth. So check before you do it with your kids, just in case. Pluto is the one that looks like it has sort of a heart shape on it. So just remember that. Okay, after hanging the planets, I was on to adding some constellations. So I specifically bought a package of stars that included some larger stars, uh, medium-sized stars, and small ones. So the package had 826 different stars in it. I ended up using two packages on this wall. I probably could have even gone for three, but two was good enough for this wall. I googled constellation coloring page or something like that on, and found a good printout that I used as my guide for making the constellations. I think this printout had 16 different constellations on it, but I only put 12 or 13, I think, on the wall. Again, I used the larger stars. So the, the larger stars are actually star-shaped or round-shaped. So it's a mix of star shapes and round shapes, which I think the mixture actually makes the wall look better. I'll link to the stars that I used in the description below too. But I just want to point out, for some reason, that store on Amazon only wants to sell you one set of those stars at a time. So if you need two or more, you just order it one day and then you wait until the next day and you have to order another one. I'm not sure why they do that, but that's the trick. That's what you got to do. So make sure that you're spacing out your constellations nicely across the wall. You don't want any too close together. You want to spread them out. I'm actually, I gave my kids that sheet of constellations and now they can use that to spot the constellations when they're bored as kind of a game. I forgot to mention something else I really loved about these stickers and the reason why I bought them is because this is a, a puffy glow in the dark star sticker. So I liked the puffy aspect for making the, wa the wall look more 3D and cooler. So just so you know, look for puffy ones if you're gonna do this to your wall. After I finished with the constellations, I moved on to just putting all of the small circles and stars everywhere spaced out evenly across the wall. So for this part, I was really just working on spacing them out evenly across the wall to make sure that I had enough and it wasn't gonna look weird. So this is the small ones now. Every once in a while, I would throw together a little grouping of three next to each other or three in a triangle shape to sort of look like random stars at night. So once I finished applying all of the smaller stars across the wall to make sure I had evenly spaced stars all across the wall, I went for the medium stars next. And in, for that one, I didn't worry too much about covering the wall evenly. I wanted it some areas to have a lot more stars than others and some to have less, sort of like the real sky. And here is a look at the finished wall. So that's over 1,600 stars on that wall. The vinyl... Uh, planets and sun I absolutely love they look beautiful and you can see how the constellations do pop out still because those were just the larger stars so the larger stars pop out still on that wall so my kids can spot them and point them out and learn the different constellations but now let me show you how cool this looks at night in the dark 
Those glow-in-the-dark stickers charge with the sunlight or with artificial light during the day, and then at night they will glow for quite a long time after you turn out the lights. And look how cool this is. So now when my kids go to bed at night, they get to sleep to a wall full of stars, which I always wanted when I was a kid. So I'm finally giving them their dream. Maybe they'll let me camp out in there sometimes. We'll see. That's it for this easy outer space wall, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments and have a great day.